answer questions. Tell me, are we referencing a shitty movie? Welcome to Q&A number whatever! Hello and welcome to Q&A number 14. Oh, I, of course, am to your presentation, Joker Productions, introducing the Eater of Worlds, Evan! Oh, and it's over here good. is Villager! It's just say no more, yeah? Yes. Toilet. Question number one. So we're first doing nice stalkers questions. Yeah, that's four of them. Question number one. What was your favorite subject in school? It's a tie between English and psychology, but mainly senior year English and psychology, which I took senior year. But yes, yeah, moving on. Arts and music for me. Junior Big shock. Junior and senior year band and ROTC. History. Band, no question. Virgin. Damn! All right, so next question, question number two from the next two up. Do you like Battlefield or Call of Duty more and why? <coughs> Personally, I prefer Battlefield because of just how it works, but I also find Call of Duty to be to have a lot of good sides. Like, the earlier Call of Duty especially, when they actually did a lot of good things, and nowadays just repeating the same shit over and over and over and over, expecting the results. Yeah, but a lot of games are doing sure. that nowadays. Yeah, yeah, they're just going with shit. Look at Pokemon, look at, uh, just hell, look at FNAF. I vote Splatoon because I like the sense of teamwork that comes out of it. No, yeah. My lemon. Yeah, deal my with lemon. it. Piggybacking off what Willow said, yeah, Battlefield and Call of Duty have their good things, but my all-time favorite shooter still goes to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yes, I found the real one! one. <laughs> Call of Duty is like Family Guy now. It's trying to be cool. But you can go kill yourself. <laughs> the door to your own apartment is right there. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know. no, but uh, as far as it goes, I mean, yeah, it's got its ups and downs for both of them, like which one would make it better to some people. Personally, I don't know. I loved Bad Company because of how ridiculous it was, but it was still a realistic shooter. It was just the characters were ridiculous. But Call of Duty, the thing that's killing it for everyone is just we're done with the future angle. I think we're all done by the end of uh, Advanced Warfare. Question three. PlayStation or Xbox? Personally, I find them to be both equal because I've had the best of both worlds and whatnot. And then, you know, each has their ups and downs. It's kind of like the argument between Call of Duty and Battlefield. Both are great. Both are bad. Both are shit. Both are not. You know, it's like, yeah. I grew up on PlayStation, so my bias is towards PlayStation. You're biased towards everything. Hush, child. You... How can you be biased to everything? For me, my first two consoles were the Sega Genesis and the Nintendo 64, so I'm a little biased towards the old school consoles. But in terms of where Xbox and PlayStation go, in my eye, they're equal. They are very equal. Um, each one has exclusive titles. Yeah, that's about all you can say for PS4 versus Xbox One. I think PlayStation 3 is better than PlayStation 4, but I think Xbox One is better than Xbox 360. Okay. So, bio? Yeah. I mean, I... My honest opinion in the debate, Godfather, Nintendo, but, I mean, in the actual <laughs> debate of it, in my opinion, I think Xbox has actually gotten a little bit better. Because when it comes to, like, sure, they screwed up when they first were, like, announcing and doing the X-Bone and everything, but when they found out what, like, the people wanted, they started to make it so. Like, even with the backwards compatibility going on now. PlayStation won't do that. Well, like a lot of people, I grew up on PlayStation. Um, I will disagree. I like 360 better than Xbox One. For well, the reason that Xbox 360 with the menu, it's something small, but with 360, it's more um, customizable. The menu, like, you can personalize it a little more. Xbox One, it's... It's like, just a black background. It's black, you can make it white, green, but it's like, there's really, like, no customization to it, but I do agree. Xbox is going <coughs> a lot better. Like, they're actually listening to people, and they're making it backwards compatible. Question four! What is your favorite horror game? My favorite horror game would have to be Silent Hill 2. Ooh. With Resident Evil 5 at a close second. Really? Wait, Resident Evil 5? Yes. <laughs> Why? I just like how it runs. I like the story of it. Okay. Yeah. Much 
Much like Willow, my pick is Silent Hill 2. <laughs> I'm gonna get slapped for one of my answers, but it's a three-way tie between Amnesia. Okay. Basic bitch. It, it was the Slender game, but it was um, Slender. The Arrival. Oh, okay. Slender. Yes. The Arrival. Okay. And FNAF One. Uh, hey, he said one. Crucify him! Crucify him! Mine would have to be in Left 4 Dead Two. Ooh, oh, that's right. a good one. Excellent choice. Bro. Survival. I mean, that's why. Okay. That's why. That's where I got the scream from the witch. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, Outlast. Ooh. Anyone play Outlast or watch anybody play it? Oh. I like the Telltale games of Walking Dead. Those, Ooh, are, those are pretty good. The next questions are from Venus and Company. We have five questions from them. Jesus. Question one. What's your favorite Marvel film? My favorite Marvel film would have to be Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Not just because of how amazing it was, but also because I have a special place for Guardians because I've read the comics way back when, when I was like this yay tall. So last year. Yes, yes, when I was, yeah. Captain and America Civil War. Okay. Uh, Batman vs. Superman. What? I'm kidding, I know it's a DC movie. It's I know! Captain Strange? Not it's even out yet! Honestly oh, though, not even out yet, I would put that as a top contender, but of ones that are out, I'm gonna have to go with, um, uh -huh. Ant-Man. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite. Bill because of the way they told Hank Pym's story and how they changed it was perfect. Bye, Marvel. I still haven't seen uh, Ant Man yet. You know. No, Guardians of the Galaxy just shows how little we know about comics. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mine would probably have to be either Winter Soldier or uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. All right. Ooh. I actually thought of something else. Just don't watch Guardians. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season yeah. 1 before you watch Winter Soldier. Don't watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in general. I agree. <laughs> Call me basic or whatever. Um, it's Deadpool. It, the reason why I'm going to say that... You? The reason I fell in love with Deadpool started way back when I first played Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 Ooh. on the 360. I loved Deadpool oh, before man. it was cool to love Deadpool. Eh. I immediately would throw him onto my team because I was originally a huge fan of Spawn. And he looked like Spawn. So, you know, little, like, 12-year-old me was like, Oh, this is awesome and yay! And so, all of a sudden, like, I listened to his dialogue as he's fighting, and I'm like, This dude's hilarious! Um, um, my favorite is Deadpool, though. Because, um, like, just before Deadpool got super popular, like, before the video game came out, um, I started getting into the comics, and, um, when I was uh, watching the Deadpool movie, it felt just like a Deadpool comic would be. Next question from Venus and Company is, what are some camera techniques and shots you haven't tried out yet but would like to? All of uh, them? Yeah, I don't, personally, <laughs> I don't know because I don't know the actual, like, jargon and terminology for camera mm. types and shots. All oh, I know is, I do what looks cool, uh, yeah. No, we don't even have a tripod. It's actually just a bunch of boxes. It like hanging is. you dive down to face us. It's yeah. a tripod. Personally, though, I would actually love to do more aerial shots. Mm. Ooh. I would like to try something with a drone, like to do like two flying yeah. shots. I do have one, yeah, but, me and my, yeah, but me and my dad are going to play with it for a little while first. Okay. Yeah. I would like to do like a stationary target or like a fight scene but full 360 camera spinning around the entire fight, where the fight keeps going the whole time, and it's just one nice little take on the fight. Oh, oh nice. those 3D things. Well, we have a perfect those, opportunity for that. Those, uh, 360s, those 360 shots are hard, though. They're, they're hard, but also they, they can get overused very quickly. That's why you only Because although they're like a cool shot, a lot of people overuse them because they're a cool shot. And you can use any camera tricks you want to, okay. any special effects. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, I just want to tell a good story, and, you know, if it uses camera angles, so be it, but that's only the frosting on the cake. I would love a shot where, um, like, I've tried aerial, sh aerial shots before with having a tripod and then lifting it above my head with the camera on the top, but I would love a shot where it's a fight scene, like, you see two people 
sword fighting, and then um, have the shot begin behind you. Then it goes over the two people, like not around, it, just over them, and then ends up on the other guy behind him. Like a little ramp. That actually him. sounds like a really cool yeah. like, technique. Like a little rainbow over the two people. Ooh! Double rainbow. Oh, the From Bemis and Company. The question is, what is your top five sexiest Bemis and Company characters? I don't know. I don't watch your shows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry at the same way, but I'm going to say Bemis. Uh, what is a Bemis and why do I care? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's gonna have to answer because I'm the only one who watches. You would just call we me. apologize. Um, Michael, Nick, Zachary, and uh, Tariq. They're your. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, so I guess next question, unless Tyler knows. Just Tyler. Do you next question! The fourth question for Beavis and Company. What's the difference between a Moobole and a Doobole? Oh, well, what? They're both and doable? I do believe do! They're both and doable? I do believe do! Do what? Do what? I do believe do! You don't know Doomble? The study of Doomble? I do believe you Moobble. He, she. Mine, 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 Doomble, Moobble, a Moobble, a Moobble, a Moobble, a Moobble! Okay, next question. Yeah, this is from this is from Will Metcalf. Another Will Metcalf. Metcalf. Okay, what are your thoughts on Batman vs Superman? I have no thoughts. I haven't seen it. You know. Hack. <laughs> I give it a I give it a C for effort because Batman. I like his story and I like Ben Affleck as Batman. I like Man of Steel better than this Superman story. You like Man Brower, of Steel? Other than saying no, no, Man of Steel is a good movie. No, no, no. he actually likes Man of Steel. You like Man of Steel? I, yes. li I like the Krypton scene. There's your door. Okay, Krypton scene. It's Krypton scene. Krypton scene. Krypton scene. I like the Krypton scene. There's your door. Okay, Krypton your scene. With it. He's like, I love the stuff with Batman. You know, I like the fact he's like, oh shit, you Jason Todd's dead. And this is actually confirmed. Oh, well, there's a... There's a spoiler warning for those of you who didn't watch right, it. You should, spoiler warning. However, if you ever want to see You the... shouldn't really be surprised because Jason Todd does die within the comics, so yes. I figured that was the story they were going with when there's like Joker all over his costume. It, it, <laughs> I just think those other Justice League cameos were just there for cameos and yeah, nothing that's else. They, were. they really were. I mean, I didn't have much faith for it for the beginning when I saw that they were going to make it the start of the Justice League. That's I haven't insane. seen it yet, so I can't really like have my opinion be thought of like as actual serious. But I don't really care much for it because of the fact that, you know, it I haven't seen it yet, but I kinda already guessed how it was gonna go. DSC once owned the cinematic universe. Yeah, really. And no, then... they once owned it, and then starting with I'd say Iron Man, really, because you know the Spider-Man movies. I think came out before Iron Man. Yeah. And some of them yes. were a little. They were a little. X-Men actually. Ah, X. Oh, X-Men. Yeah, X two. Except for X-Men three, no one liked Last Stand. Yeah, I liked it. I did. No one liked Last Stand. <laughs> All right, Krillin. <laughs> next question. Oh, next I really wanted question. I wanted to that one. Next question, and the final question for. QA number 14. The drum roll, please! Wow. Read it, Evan! What show? No, Matt, you're, you're not Evan! What shows are you guys going to make when the Luigi Chronicles ends? Oh, um, we're going to be making shows. Oh, you guys after already that? talked about the Luigi Chronicles. Well, actually, Willow. What? Remember that one uh, horror thing we talked about that one night? No, we're going no. down. We're, um, we're working on planning it. But that's probably not yeah. going to happen unless you end up moving to the place that I'm moving to, wherever, whenever college ends. Cause... Me, I don't know. I have other shows that are planned, but I'm probably not going to be doing it. If. The Witcher Chronicles ends before I even leave, then I may still do stuff with these people, but if it ends after I leave Florida, I know I'm leaving Florida, that's happening, yes, I'm sorry. I, I know for me, I don't, but I don't I've, I've barely worked even on Smash Brotherhood. 
But to, pre to pretty much be simple, even on my end, it's hard to determine because you don't know what's going to happen by the time that show ends. There could be so much channel growth that you, you're pretty much led to doing other things as well. I know for me personally, my YouTube channel, I'm going to try to get off the ground sometime soon. Yes. And it's Star Wars based, like gaming, news, everything. Kind of like, like the cool guy, Hello Greedo. It's, yeah. like it's a, just a bad guy from the showers! I yeah. do have other shows that I plan to do after Smash Ends, because Luigi Chronicles is only going to be on my Twitch channel, so yeah. I'll make promos for it on my channel, but yeah, there that's is, about it. There is another show that um, I'm making, it's going to be announced on Brower's channel, but a uh, Kingdom Hearts show based on my channel, um, that's in development right now, it's called Guardians of Light, uh, just look out for that on Brower's channel. Yeah. Right. Um. I don't know, going off of what Evan was saying, like, you know, I only started off of uh, doing, like, Villager for you guys when All I right, that's enough guys years ago. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> and, um, what I plan on, uh, doing myself is I want to get the equipment together to do my own, like, Let's Play channel. Hmm? You know, stuff like that, and that could be where some of your all's Let's Plays can, uh, like, all the group Let's Plays could go there. Yeah, and if Death Note is canceled, I'll probably do it. It's but it's not looking like it's going to be cancelled, it's just, you know, like I said, on the back burner. So, yeah. that is a definite thing that we're going to start either halfway through Luigi Chronicles or after it. But I told Brower to wait until 2020 before he really starts anything, because 2020 is probably going to be my cutoff. If I don't start Death Note by then, then I'm just going to cut it off, give it to Brower, he gets full reign. Yes. Alright everyone! Thank you for tuning in to Q&A number 14. We will see you again in a month for Q&A number 15. It might be with Jersey people. We might yeah, in, uh, in next month, we'll be in Jersey with Adam, Sean, and so maybe Alan. It'll, so actually be coming out, for them. it'll actually be coming out in three weeks instead of the usual four weeks month period because we're going to be in Jersey for three weeks. So, so leave questions for the Jersey crew. Any members of the Jersey crew and whatnot. Yeah. From Will Black, it's Just a Joke Productions, Yvonne Blaquandrea, Will Brow, Santa Brow, Bile Village or some shit, and Toilet. Mr. Awesomaniac. Mr. Awesomaniac, the toilet that makes biscuits. Pose. Yeah! And you haven't got to. So how make a man out of you? Damn! Oh god, this is worse than death. This is need to watch us what you say. You must be swift as a coursing river. Be a man. I call the force of a great typhoon. Be a man. With the strength of a raging fire. Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. No. Turn his race and quarters until we arrive. Shut, shut the hell of Mappa, and you might survive. Are we there yet? Take back he what made I it said. actually edible, though. Tyler, sure. I take back what I said. <sighs> Evan did to biscuits what Iggy Azalea did to white people rapping. Hold up. Oh, fuck. Evan did make it look edible, huh. though. Okay. Just because so, it looks edible doesn't okay, mean it Okay, so I'm mean, the plastic... Okay, so I did... Okay. Okay. You probably shouldn't eat it. No, so I did to biscuits what the plastic surgeon did to Michael Jackson. I made it passable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a shame you killed it, too. Damn. Damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's fucked. I have no comment. Looks like so shit. So we're gonna move on, assholes? Wait, it's gonna it, make a little yeah, more? Yeah, let's probably get back yeah, to the Q&A. Like, I feel bad. Right. I feel bad. That right. phone call shouldn't have done. So, oh, God. So, Here, maybe this will make a taste better. Like made a killing, like, bloopers reel. Oh, God. <laughs>
You run for the- It's Billy! It's vile, check your pronunciation. I told you shut up, or I will send you back to the deepest resources of Tumblr that have no social justice warriors. It's nothing but dicks. And I don't mean the good-looking dicks. I'm talking about the shrivelly, cro crooked-looking dicks. The ones that you're going to be forced to look at each and every single day of your miserable life! Oh, so the White House. <laughs> and of course you know, uh, Will Willow and- and Will, Bro, and of course, Bro, Tyler, Bro, Tyler Bro. Bro. always helps us. I haven't played Call of Duty since high school, so... You're one of the lucky types. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's just Next like question. Oh. oh, fuck you! Way to skip Tyler, asshole! Hey, Damn! Hey, you did last time, so I'm like... No, I didn't! Actually, you did. Oh! Well, I guess he doesn't matter then. Next question. Okay, so, um... <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> answer! Tyler, answer! Let's play some Call of Duty, motherfuckers! 